Drive through that front heel. We have 10 more. Step it up. And back. Look at my 
arms when they're straight. There's no loose slack. There's no loose slack at all. We're going to come up and down. We got one minute. Are you ready? Up for two. Down. Good. Bring it down. you to choke up on that band. Make it hard. Make it difficult. Make it a challenge. That's how you get those muscles in those arms. We're going to see those biceps popping soon. Bring it back into a curtsy. So we have 10 
the other day. Oh, yes, yes. Just 30 seconds, we got 10, or 15. Now we have 10 seconds. Back is 
straight, please. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Congratulations. Single leg deadlifts with an arm raise. That is not easy. Back to upper body. Grab your band. We're going to do those. So place it in your left foot. Grab it with your right. Choke up on it. Wide legs. And you're going to go into a lunge and pull. We have one minute. No pulsing with this one. So choke up on it. So as your arm is straight, there's no slack. After a few rounds, a few reps, you may say, I'm going to make it harder for me. So you make it harder.
You can have the arm coming down onto the floor, the opposite arm, so that you don't fall. I don't want you falling. You can do this on the floor as well. I just want to uh, release the glutes and the lower back. And let's come back. If you're sore from Monday, guess what? You're going to be sore now <laughs> until Friday. All right, here we go. Other leg into the chest. Give it a nice hug. Let's grab onto our ankle. Straighten the leg as best as you can. Then bend the knee and push that heel up into the ceiling. And bend and press and bend. So important that you do strength training, avoiding injuries. So good. Let's rotate that ankle. I had a scary moment last winter where I fell on the ice and I kind of bounced off the ice. Like my butt just kind of bounced off. I didn't break anything, didn't break a hip, nothing. I, I was a little, had a little bruise, but when there's lots of muscles right there, you just bounce. That's a good thing. Let's take that toe behind the knee and turn it inward. You can grab onto the bench so you don't fall off. Feel the stretch in the shoulders as well. So just because you may have felt like these resistance bands were really difficult, they are just different. Different than lifting weights. They work the muscles as you work up and as you go down. Eccentric work, both directions. Let's finish with my favorite stretch of all time. I love this stretch. So we're going to bend the legs, and then I'll get you out of here. So stand up, drop it down. So the knees are bent, shoulders are back. Raise your arms up. Clasp your hands. Reverse the clasp. Press up. Lock those elbows. So I want you to push up with your arms, then push down with your legs. Feel the stretch in the abdominals as well. Push, push, and pull for four, three, two, stand up, clasp your hands behind your back, toes, come forward, drop your shoulders, let's hinge forward, bring the arms up over the head. I guess that's not my absolute favorite. My absolute favorite stretch is the downward dog. Oh, so if you want to finish with a downward dog, you can, but I am done. So give yourself a hand and give yourself a hug, okay? Give yourself a big hug. You worked hard today. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm here tomorrow for Butts and Guts. That's at 9.30 tomorrow. So come back. We'll work those legs a little more, okay? <laughs>